Hi everyone, and welcome to this FHNW Centrum Schreiben tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll focus on various different formulations of research questions. By the end of this tutorial, you'll understand the importance of formulating a strong research question and be able to formulate one. As discussed in part one in the series on research questions, a strong research question is clear, delimited, arguable, and answerable. It defines the issue and scope, defines what you'll study, explain, and answer. It affects your choice of literature, research design, sources, and analysis, and determines the validity of your conclusions. Today, we'll focus on the actual wording of your questions. There are a lot of ways that you can formulate a question, but you should be aware of the effect that the formulation has on the type of research that's then required. What questions often necessitate or lead to descriptive or comparative answers? How and why questions either lead to evaluative or explanatory answers? Descriptive questions, such as what measures are Swiss IT consultancies taking to grow their percentages of female employees, are really good at getting to know a subject. They generally provide a very good overview of the subject under study. Comparative questions, such as what are the similarities between McDonald's marketing strategies in Mexico and Switzerland, are good at exploring similarities and differences. So you can see that both of these questions are going to need some description, and the second one is also going to add in the comparative element. Evaluative questions, such as how effective is micromanaging employees at increasing productivity, help you determine the value of a process or something. For example, how effective, efficient, or profitable. You'll need to be able to systematically measure effectiveness, efficiency, and profitability. So your method's going to be really important here. Explanatory questions like why is employee turnover so high in nursing in the US can help you determine the cause of something. These are how and why questions. To wrap up, when coming up with your research question, you should ask yourself the following questions. Is it specific enough? Will you be able to answer it? Is it too narrow? Can you answer it without synthesizing previous research and providing a line of reasoning? Is it clear? A strong research question is clear, delimited, arguable, and answerable. And as you've seen from this tutorial, whether you choose a question word like what, how, or why will affect the type of research that you need in order to answer the question. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to check out our other tutorials on research. If you have any further questions or ideas for future tutorials, please contact us at Centrum Schreiben. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up below.